A Greensboro woman became a first time mom at 50 years old. WFMY News 2's Tracy McCain jumped at the chance to talk with her about her one in a million shot of having a baby at 50. Married in 2008, Susie and Tony Traxler were happy being a family of two. We got married, we got married a little later in life, obviously, and we just assumed we'd get pregnant, like most people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one year turned into two. Yeah, when it got to be like 10, nine years, 10 years, 11 years, then we're like, okay, something is up here. We're not sure what it is. They both had dreams of becoming parents. And I had a boatload of fibroids, <laughs> uterine fibroids. But a mountain of health hurdles put their baby dreams on hold. I was too old <laughs> and Tony had some medical issues. And between the two of us, there was not going to be a baby. Let me start over here. I need your ages. I'm 50. I was born in 1971. I tell people I have no shame in that whatsoever. <laughs> and, and I'm 61. I was born in 1960. At 50 and 61, the Traxlers heard no a lot. Well, when you take away all the like, nice official medical jargon, the bottom line is they're not going to happen. So you're going to need a whole lot of help if this is going to happen. But finally, they met a doctor who said yes. In this situation, given her advanced age, and no one had really given her or given them their options for attempting to conceive. Cone Health OBGYN Dr. Carolyn Haraway-Smith says a 50-year-old first-time mom is pretty rare. I don't think a pregnancy at this late age is for everyone. Complications are common and both mom and baby are labeled high risk. But when you want something, no matter how crazy, no matter how impossible, if that's the dream in your heart, go for it. So they did. Dr. Haraway Smith referred the Traxlers to Carolina's Fertility Institute. Here, doctors removed her fibroids, performed rounds of egg collections and IVF. None of that work, none, none at all. The Traxlers were down to their last embryo. They bring in for the ultrasound and the first thing they were like, oh, she's moving. And I'm like, and she was a teeny little thing then. So I'm like, yes. <laughs> Great news for the family in February. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs> and even better news in September. This is Lily, L-I-L-Y, -L Antonia, named after her daddy, Troxler. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get your little face so they can see you, lovely. Five pounds, 12 ounces, and every inch. Is she daddy's little girl? Before she was even born, <laughs> she had me wrapped around her pinky. <laughs> I love her so much. Every time I look at her, sometimes I find myself just staring at her. It's, 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 it's amazing. The couple is now adjusting to their first and only child. We're thrilled. Sleep deprived, I told them sleep deprived, but totally beyond worth it. They're thankful for the blessings and for the baby girl they always dreamed would come. We know she's the miracle. She really, really is the miracle baby. <laughs> awesome. So cute. So to give you a better idea of the Troxler's medical miracle, the chances a woman over 50 will give will go the full 40 weeks of pregnancy and deliver a healthy baby is less than 20%. It's even lower when the father is also a bit older. A baby Lily is healthy and the Troxlers have a lot to be thankful for. Congratulations to them. Absolutely. You know, you hear all the time or you see on social media friends or family having difficult times, you know, trying to conceive and have children. Imagine being 50 years old and, and going through the same challenges. It's got to be so great and relieving to finally do it. Very much so. And you see the couple, they are all smiles. They are so very happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, you know, 30 50 is the new 30, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So you know what? It's a beautiful baby and she was entered the world in September. So this will be their first Thanksgiving, first holiday season with the baby. So even much more to be thankful for for this holiday season. Absolutely.